This is Bob Burkhart, the Digital Jaywalker with the Lawrence Breakfast Optimist Club on May 14th at New York Elementary School. We're just getting ready for the outdoor portion of the uh, No Child Left Inside Field Day. Uh, we're doing a dress rehearsal here on the uh, scoot cart tug of war relay, or whatever Mr. Hall has uh, uh, used as a name for this. This is kind of like a uh, relay race that uh, requires uh, collaboration and cooperation uh, for each of the uh, competing lines or teams. So we've got the uh, rope tensioners that have already come across on the cart holding the uh, line and then we're seeing a uh, hot swap here and the uh, person that was holding the rope is now on the uh, return uh, leg. I guess everything here is about positioning. Oh, we got a crack uh, to contend with here. There we go. A little help from the 6th uh, grade uh, uh, coordinators here. So this is a neat pass down the line model. You can see the uh, foot bracing uh, required here to hold the end of the rope. This was a shotgun start, so we have uh, concurrent activities going on uh, with different age groups. Uh, about seven to eight minutes per uh, station for the uh, group activities. So we can see the uh, fifth graders uh, over on the uh, basketball hoops and we see the uh, pylons uh, being uh, set up here for the uh, toss ball and it looks over at the far uh, our president Dudley Crow is practicing his frisbee skills with Nancy DeGarmo the principal and as we pan around here uh, we can see uh, Fred DeVictor uh, monitoring the uh, uh, various relay races. We have a tug of war station here. This is a uh, test of uh, upper and lower body strength or tactics. How do you get the most friction? Uh, I see the flag has to, oops, now we see somebody lost their grip, and we've got upper body strength coming this direction. Oh, look at that. Everybody's having fun. A little bit of a medicine ball soccer here to stay. Oh, we have to go around the obstacle course. Listen up! Okay, this is the uh, rotation signal. So everybody that was at one station goes to the next station. It's almost like an outdoor fire drill. Six graders are the uh, docents for each event. Listen, A line, B line, listen up. Do we have A line, B line? Green and yellow, green and yellow. Hey, we don't have a whole lot of time. All right, we got to get to 11 stations. If you want to talk, we're going to miss something. This is what we're going to do. One stop, knockout. 
Here's the uh, parachute station that I haven't... Uh, Observing the uh, famous frisbee toss with the uh, three-legged race uh, just about ready to start in the background. Uh, we've got uh, targets to hit here on the building. A little bit of uh, eye-hand wrist coordination uh, to see how effectively uh, we can uh, handle the disc tosses. I think this is the uh, fourth grade uh, classes over here getting ready to uh, begin their uh, three-legged race relay. I'm going to see if I can get in a good observation position. It's going to be set up like a relay race. Okay, you ready? Well, wait, we haven't explained the rules. So, when you guys go, you're going to go around the cone that's to your left. So go around like this and then come back and then the next... This is the first year that we've uh, empowered the sixth graders to be the uh, event coordinators. Great idea of Mr. Halls to uh, have near peer role models and mentors. And we've got disposable cameras here to get the uh, pictures. So here's the uh, coordination, slow and steady. Synchronizing the uh, steps. They make the uh, rounds and they get back to the uh, starting. Whoops, there we had a casualty. Somebody got out of coordination. All right. Would you say that again? It appears that the uh, name of the game here is to defend the uh, pylons from the uh, Nerf ball attackers. That requires a little bit of uh, team coordination once the uh, pylons get rebuilt with the uh, hula hoops. Definitely a four-handed uh, reassembly activity. And I understand that the pylons are adjusted uh, uh, based on the uh, distance from the uh, orange pylon is based on the uh, age group. So this is a uh, variable event. Now this is definitely a hurry up and wait event because those that were successful defenders are uh, already uh, pre-staged, uh, pre getting ready to uh, uh, get their uh, attack balls uh, on the, uh, they're called what? Okay. Cool. 